Hello, it's Guy here from Scale Models and Figurines. Today I have finally finished the old um, Lamborghini Contash by Fujimi. Uh, it's one of the 1980s enthusiast kits. Um, all I can say about it is it is a really impressive build. Um, if none of you have built a enthusiast kit yet, you need to go out and buy one. Um, I will admit there's a couple smudges here, but I do need to buff them out. So I've just noticed that. <laughs> um, but otherwise, on this side as well, but not so bad. Um, what else? Yeah, as you obviously have been following the videos, it's a full working with working doors. Uh, you also have, I've added the realistic seat belts in there. And one I've decided this door doesn't work properly, so I'll just hold it up for now. This door, I decide, uh, this seat I decided to do it strapped in because I don't normally see um, people replicating what a seatbelt looks like strapped in, it's always just to one side. So I thought I'd do one seatbelt strapped in and one seatbelt uh, not strapped in. Um, as I said, I, I chose this contrast, the gold and um, black. I will admit there's um, a few marks in the paintwork. Um, but to be fair, it's it's a black car and I haven't even buff, really like buffed it up yet. So I've, I've still got a little work to do. But um, there's a few, as I said, it's pretty much finished. Um... What else you've got, obviously, if I can pop this up quickly. So, you have full bonnet interior. So you've got your battery in there, your washer bottle, your horns and your spare wheel. These um, can go up and down, but I had a bit of an accident with them, so I decided to glue them up, and I thought it was nice anyway, because no one ever keeps them up, they're normally closed, so you don't really, I didn't even realise the Contash had um, lights that went up, I only thought these were the front lights, to be honest with you. What else? So it was also the first time, if you remember, that I used flocking in this car, for the carpet, so I was quite happy. It was, I'm happy with how it's turned out because I did try a lot of new um, sort of it was a, almost like an experiment kit at the same time as being obviously a brilliant build um, and a very enjoyable build I really wanted to focus on getting this car right so that's why in some places obviously it's a bit messy but as I said I didn't realise it got that bad quite ashamed of that actually there but I I've got a trick about buffing it out so um, and then you've got all the wiring that I did in here and as you can see the engine detail this is straight out of the box bear in mind this kit is phenomenal um, I would highly recommend it if you can get hold of one um, I know one place in particular that can uh, I can get hold of uh, enthusiast kits. I've, I've I've also got the Porsche 911185, the Ferrari G, uh, 288 GTO, and the Ferrari Daytona all in enthusiast kits as well. And I will be getting the Ferrari Dino as well. So I've got still got quite a few enthusiast kits to build, um, but this is also my first Lamborghini. But as you can tell, it, it really just needs a good polish, um, a good buff up really, um, which isn't too bad. But otherwise, how would I recommend this kit? If you can get hold of it, go out and um, yeah, just go out, get it, it's that simple. Um, but you may have to get off eBay or somewhere like that because as I said this kit's from the 1980s. I did use uh, 
one of my friends, actually, um, Dan, who helps out with the YouTube, he sent me these um, photo etch um, Lamborghini because I, I came up with a problem. I had a bit of a problem when I was building this. Um, when I was coming to the end, I realised I don't have all the decals that I have with it. They were all black because it told you in the instructions to paint the car red or white. Um, but I think the black with gold wheels looks really nice and I decided to go for this one. So I was like, oh crap, I need to somehow get hold of a new set. So I was going to look and then Dan, uh, Dan turned around and said, I've got some of them. So here it is. Um, other than that, I hope you've enjoyed this build. Sorry I've missed out on a lot of videos on it, but at some points, especially with the body, I had some real struggles. Um, so, yeah, I'm sorry about that. But also, just to let you know, quick little tip here. If you do get windows like this, that are fogged out, like that, run a little bit of clear in it, on the inside, where the fogging is, boom, it disappears. It's that simple. Um, so, um, yeah, so that's about it really. So, I hope everyone enjoyed this video and um, if you don't know, we've got a Facebook group where you can head over there and obviously ask, um, get in, we will accept you and uh, you're more than welcome to uh, share your builds and um, pictures of builds or even research on like certain cars or whatever, it all helps. Um, so everyone, thank you for following this build. And to the subscribers who've been there for a while, thanks, thank you ever so much for your support as always. Um, and next up will be the next step of the um, Yamaha Midnight Special Motorbike. Uh, thank you ever so much. Have a great day. Happy modelling and goodbye for now.